Okay, what was the eight one? Second from the back. Wait, was that the eight weeds? Is that why it was second from the back? Oh my god. That didn't happen, and just move on with my life. That's it still doesn't look like make a whole lot of sense. It doesn't. Well, this is eight weeds. Back? So, this one, I guess? Yeah, what do you know? I want that item, so. Oh. Build me up and knock me down, why not? Jeez, By the way, poison bug. panels are actually uh, equal opportunity killers. Get a bug. No, no. Oh, no. Give me that item. Huh. You know, if it wasn't one of the most common bugs, that might actually be useful. I will choose to go around and entertain an energy change. I should do it. you drag me through this plant man, the worse it's going to be when I get you. Top left. Three weeds, metal. Eye-shaped weed, I'd forgotten. Actually, you can kind of see the button on this one. There's two little blue pixels there on the bottom right of it. Wow, yeah, I saw that. Alright, that's one. this. I, I was just trying to stop you from healing, but apparently that totally works. That's good to know. Goodbye, rope. It's a nope rope. Top left. Um, guess this will be top left. I don't care. I don't care if the chip's unique, okay? It's a style chip, they're all worthless anyway. Style chip? Yep, you can literally only use that if you have a heat style. Oh. Otherwise, it literally does nothing. Oh uh, yeah, you, it's, you know, all those uh, times you'll be able to play people in, you know, Battle Network 3 multiplayers. I was about to say, that's about to become a lot easier, actually, so... And, uh, that's actually one of the things that we're talking about for the Legacy Collection. Really? Yep. They're gonna have, uh, online ability with it, so that should be cool. Oh, you'll be able to bully Cog. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yes. Hey, Cog, you wanna play Battle Network 4 multiplayer? Not if you're gonna use junk style, uh, junk soul. I'm sure would be his answer. No, please stop. Ha 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 ha! Older guys goes burn. <laughs> it does. It does. Why do you keep throwing things on my side of the field? Because I throw them at you. I bequeath you, Jelly. I bequeath you, Rock. Did I get... I just realized I may not have been given a puzzle for a 3x3. Three three. I'm gonna burn them all anyway. Why? Because I'd want to burn this whole server down. 
Burn it. Nani, burn it. Can I please burn this game? I use Black Bomb. It's actually a cool chip. <sighs> I hate this part of the game so much. It's stuff like this that made kids bust out Game Shark codes. No, not just because small children are lazy. Well, I mean, there's also that, but this dungeon sucks. No, oh, right. no. silly me. To tell Noodle about that, then he was uh, he was actually pretty fond of the multiplayer and got one to work. No, that could be a fun uh, tournament. We could have our own. You know, Tomo Bros Mega Man Battle Network Tournament. Oh, rather than that one fighting game thing we were joking about. Oh no, we should only do that too. I'm saying in addition to. It's very different than a fighting game because this game, you know, you're actually thinking. Can I break something out of this? Nope, there are literally no fire chips in there. Sucks. But you know, plant is weak against sword damage. Why did you guys think this was a good idea? Because we got chat GPT from the future and we're like, please, make a video game, and they're like, Battle Network 3. Considering so how quickly these came out, I would honestly not be surprised if something like that happened. You guys have to understand that this this came out like mere months after Battle Network 2. Yep, this they were able to reuse a lot of assets. I mean, like, that was a big surprise to anyone, right? But because they were able to do that, these games came out in very rapid fire succession. Definitely fish. Fish will solve everything. We go up to Plant Man and just hit him with a fish. Bam! Ah, why'd you do that? Makes because feel it better. made me feel better about this stupid dungeon. Didn't even hurt that bad. I'm more annoyed than anything. Yeah, I know. Now you know how I feel. You two are... Oh, Starcross lovers. You know, the fire breathing tiki and you know the ice penguin. Bling penguin. Yeah. The path over on this side I haven't taken. I hate this. I hate this so much. I know I'm grousing a lot, because like Battle Number 3 really goes downhill after the N1 Grand Prix, I'm just gonna say it. I think you have. It bears repeating. Because holy crap does it go downhill after the N1 Grand Prix. I don't care, I just want to kill Plant Man. Okay, I care about that. That was worth it. Hooray! 
I think I kind of said it best in my review of these games, where, like, every good idea is paired with a bad idea that balances it out. Yeah, it's... It's telling that out of all the things that, you know, were, were revolutionized in this game, you know, energy change and uh, press did not ever come back. I mean, Navicus did, but... Oh yeah, but Navicus is a great idea. Just press and energy change were not. Actually, countering becomes more powerful in 4. Because that's when you can get a uh, full synchro at long last. Peace, I guess. Is that when they introduce the entire distressed and emotional thing? Where... Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Where if you, you know, take too many hits, you can actually become edgy emo form, and it'll actually allow you to, uh, Dark style change. That's, that's not what I was trying to hit. But yes. Which is honest, honestly only the only thing I ever used them for because if you actually used them like normal, then it would sap your HP. Yeah, definitely kind of an L. And, on, and some of the Dark Souls were honestly better than the. Like, I want to say, uh, Dark Magnet Soul was, like, ridiculously OB. Yeah, some of them really were, though. Just, like, in general. So, like I said earlier, times two for being wood, and times two for standing on grass. It's a bad combination, you don't want to get hit by it. But there's only a few people, a few ways that they can counter you, so yep. it's actually a strategy that's worth using. It is, and there's actually going to be a little bit of that that we're going to use for Plant Man. Where's the door? Where am I now? No, that's a dead end. We saw a door open, like several of them, I just haven't gone wasn't through. That, wasn't that way back in the beginning? It might have been. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling now. Alright, let's head that direction and double check. Oh, my charge shot is rock cube. That's <laughs> Culture guys to go! Ah, do it if I could. I would. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's actually kind of useful now. Actually, that, that'll serve as a nice defense for the moment. While I get my bearings straight here. Metal Man, Metal Man, Metal Man. Oh, I should have done that. I forgot that I can move him. It's fine. What? No! I hit up! Why did you not go up? Why do you hate me, game? I should have just used, uh, knock the blade. Oh, I was wondering if that would do damage if I just dropped it on his head. Answer, no, it doesn't. Aww. I think in later games it actually does, but it's not a whole lot. It's not about the damage, it's about sending a message. I just <laughs> rocked a rock on you. I literally just rocked you. You know, rock man rocked you. You know, like a brigade. It all comes together in the end is what I'm saying. That was a bad time to have the bug that always makes you move down. Hey, 
Come out. <laughs> Work with what you got, right? How are you putting any poison on my side of the field? You're like a million miles away. Why do you have 150 recovery abilities? Why do you have multiple recover 150? Screw it. Subtlety over, destruction equals very yes. Hey, remember when program advance was like a big deal in the anime? It was like a huge thing for like two consecutive arcs. Okay. Finally here to deal with this guy. So better prepare accordingly. Okay, so here's the thing. My abilities are kind of the same as his, so I have to be a little bit careful with how I approach this. But we're going for it. You've come at last, Mega Man. I have already obtained the Tetra Code, Yugi Boy. What Tetra Code? If you don't know, allow me to fill you in. The Tetra Code is the key that will unlock the demise of the net. There are four Tetra Codes, hence Tetra, but okay. When combined, the beast shall awaken. The beast? So, the World 3 was after the Tetra Code all along. Precisely. Enough chit chat. I've all work to attend to, namely, your deletion. Yugi Boy. I shall enjoy plucking the petals from the wilting flower that is your life. Treacherous bloom? What? I don't even know what to make of that. Probably any rate... something. Hmm? Probably something poetic. Probably. <laughs> that actually is a, an ability worth having, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, you moved at the last second. Now you're probably thinking, Eh, Snake, what's wrong with you? He can now heal too! Well, I mean, yes, he can, but... I'm willing to bet that he's still gonna die before me. That's kinda where I'm going with this. Also, he doesn't have anything that can change the tiles. Nope. So... Dang it! Moving up all the time, bug. Ah, I finally popped that. That's some crap that he can knock me out of my charge shot. I think he's the only Mega Man that has that issue, actually. trigger too fast. Bad time to mess that one up, but oh well. See, the point isn't that he's healing. The point is that I will continue to heal and he eventually will stop. He's running out of, uh... I can destroy tiles, but he can't. Oh, come on, that bug is infuriating in the worst times. Also, I have Undershirt, he doesn't. Kind of an I win button in this game. Interesting, he's still attached to those vines. Why? I'm holding the direction and you're still punishing me. Ah, yes, that's the chip I was hoping for. Mine, 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 all mine, not yours. Touch grass, they say. <laughs> oh, you can't anymore. I won't let you. They can't rock me because I'm browsing in incognito mode. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that changes everything.
Did I mention that wood styles in this game are super cheesy? Because they are. That really should not have worked. No, it absolutely shouldn't have, but eh. And boom goes the dynamite. Mega Man, so powerful. However, the World 3 has already acquired three of the Tetra Codes. Just one more. Once we get that final Tetra Code, the Beast Alpha will arise. Alpha? Ah, th this is the end, Yugi Boy. Farewell. It is time to bloom, a bright flower of the cyber world. Just st stop talking. Just explode. Be done with it. Alpha. I'm dead. I'm dead now. <laughs> what kind of beast is he? Mega Man, the operating system. Right, it's right. A big amoeba. Yep. I fix the system. Now that you're able to continue the operation. Oh no! Mega Man, what is it? Operating system isn't functioning properly. It looks like it's out of energy. Nurse, the operating room door is unlocked. Yes, yeah, so the surgery equipment isn't functioning. Mamaru won't last very much longer. Transfer my energy to the operating system. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, Mega Man. <laughs> also, no, you don't understand. We, we we did this in, you know, Battle Network 1, remember? Yeah, but we were literally synchronized through a special program that, like, had weird god power Mega Man form. And hospitals also have emergency generators. Where are the emergency generators? Three, three of life. Oh, silly me. You'll... I can't just judge sit. tree. Judge tree. Judge tree. I can't just sit and watch a kid suffer. Have, have to suffer my fate. Here I go. Energy release mode activate. Ooh. I'm not even gonna try to pronunciate that. <laughs> the equipment is working again. Then, don't be a drama queen. As soon as I jack you out, you'll be fine. Crazy. Fool. Take a bed. The operating system is working again. You finally fixed Windows. ME. You finally made it usable. Congratulations. You approved the justice of our culture. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours after the operation resumed. So it was like a six hour surgery? Jeez. I know some of these can be intensive, but like, that seems like a lot. Dr. Mama would be fine, right? The operation would have been flooded if we hadn't had that incident and never had to wait for him to wake up. That's a good thing. We, we were able to get that mayonnaise in time. Otherwise, my sandwich would have been all dry. Then the surgeon did everything he could. We just have to have faith in Mama and wait. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure he'll wake up soon. I hope so. Five hours later. Oh, and egg. Ah, and I'm some, thinking about breakfast. And some bread, too. <laughs> Wake up. Now's no time to sleep. Lumber's coming around. Yeah, five more minutes. What? Really, Mega Man? Really, quick, call the doctor. Alright. Nurse! Yeah, eight years to get my PhD. You call me nurse. Without a PhD operation, as a success. Had to keep you in the hospital for a while to do it. That's that's two different words. Uh, space while. But I think it's more impressive the fact that I am a doctor of computer science and I just finished <laughs> a life-saving operation. Oh wow, that is impressive. But <laughs> then goes bad, and then go. Really, that's great. Except that we never see Mamoru's parents. It's really great. Hey, Leo, oh. Mamoru's trying to say something. No, during the surgery, I had a dream. Was a dream about a really annoying puzzle? I, that's what I was dreaming about. I could hear Land calling my name, and I was surrounded by a blue light. There was a boy I'd never seen before in the light. He looked just like Man. He kept saying, Don't give up, you can beat this. I see. Man and Mega Man, thank you for this existential crisis. <laughs> you don't even think, I was just remember. You promised to net battle me after you get out of here. Yeah. Now that Mamoru's yeah, fine, we should head home. 
this raises so many questions. Like, do you go to the internet when you die? Oh, and no. if so, do you need to get an ad block for your soul? <laughs> soul ad block. Now, just a twenty nine ninety nine DLC. No. Ah, so this is what hell looks like. It's been a while. No, a while. One word. How dare you contact me directly, human. You see, your, dis uh, your, your despise of mankind has not changed. That's technically correct, but just a really weird way to parse it. However, you remember I did an agreement to change for giving you the power to terrorize humans. You will assist me in accomplishing my goal. <laughs> Time has almost arrived. Implement Cyber, get it! I just thought you should know. So you will awaken Alpha. Yes, but first, I must obtain the final Tetra Code and some bagels. I may need to employ this in your services in the near future. I will contact you again when the time comes. Gosh, I wonder who it was talking to. It was clearly the most powerful net navy. Cut man. Aquaman. <laughs> Or as I like to call him, handsome guy. <laughs> Don't you mean Spout Man? <laughs> Only one more Tetra code remains with him at my side. It won't matter anyway. Destruction of that society is nearly at hand. Wait, was that Spout Man? He was. It was for some reason changed to Spout Man, and I think I don't know five. I can't remember if it did it in six or not. But it's supposed to be Aquaman. It's been a week since Dex moved, but we all get together like this, it still seems like he'll show up. It's hard to believe he's really gone. But I know Dex will come visit us soon enough. I'm sure he's having a blast in his new town. Yeah, and besides, Toby's only a few hours away from my private jet. There you are, Lamb. Oh no, uh. a teacher has found me out of school! I've been looking for you. But no, I'm not going on a date with you, Miss Mari. Uh oh. <laughs> I already resolved that World 3 incident at the hospital. Was he receiving a commendation? Am I gonna get, like, 21 retroactive commendations for everything else I've done? No, not, no. Oh. Commendation, really? Way to go, man. Not easy to get a commendation. I wanna hold an awards ceremony for you at Scilab. An awards ceremony at Scilab? Come on, Megaman, let's go. Man, wait. No, I'm still not going on a date with you. There's something I wanna tell you. <laughs> No, do not confess your love for me! What is it? Sorry. S sorry, Miss Mari, but I married When you're older, child. you'll find some... You'll find someone who's good for you, but... I I'm sorry, but, you know... Yeah, I'm married to being a narcoleptic and also... <laughs> to be a JRPG protagonist. I heard about the reward ceremony. I was both happy and frightened. Everything worked out fine, which is wonderful, but if it hadn't... Land, being a warrior is a true honor, and I'm proud of you. But please promise you won't ever risk your own life. Uh, it's a little late for that. Do you remember what happened to me at the end of Battle Network 2? Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand. I'm sorry I made you worry. As long as you understand. Now then, get on over to the awards ceremony. Alright, see you later. She's, like, more caring about you than your own mom. I know, Her mom's right? like, eh, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure a hundred thousand times radiations basically just, you know, background noise anyway. No. Oh, hello, Itaku. Hello, Itaku. Well, hello again. <laughs> My name's Lan. Thank you for your help the other day. Uh, I didn't do much. Nah, this can't be Itaku. He's way too humble. But you did. Thanks to you, I could have helped a lot of people. Well, I appreciate your thanks, then. Do you work here at Scilab? No, I just came by to check things out. Ah, oh, darn, I think I might know my father. <laughs> Do I look like a scientist? I mean, yeah. Either that <laughs> or a really schlubby novelist. Oh, that, that, that hurts, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man told me that when he worked on the press data, he had an amazing programming technique. Well, I used to do some programming when I was younger. Nothing fancy. But don't you need to run along? 
do whatever you kids do, like, you know, make the Snapchats or the top talk ticks and or, you know, doing the, the, the poggers. Uh, to talk what's official, we're, we're basically just de facto boomers. <laughs> now, now you can hit join Grandpa Snack and you can go crazy too. With my Zeon legs. <laughs> Your Zeon legs, yeah. I don't have gun tank legs, I got Zeon legs. I'll give you the commendation, because I'm very going. Can you tell me your name? You, you help me, but I don't even know what your name is. My name? My name is Cossack. Yeah, it's, it's not your Cossack from Mega Man 5. Your name is really we, important. Oh, is that we, French? Ryotar Ilyevich Vladimich Putimich Vrashtimich Fyodor Cossack. Ah, I don't actually know what his name is. You know, I'm gonna look it up now. Where are you going? All right, all right, all right. He wants me to move the plot along. I'll move the plot along. Oh wait, no, I won't. Because I need to fix my Navi cast again. Oh, well, his name is literally just Kosaku Haishaku. Oh, or uh, Hakase. Okay then. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. His name is Mikhail Sergeyevich Cossack but that's in Mega Man Classic. In Battle Network, he's just Dr. Casa. Huh. So right. I guess if it's if it's the same guy, then it would be Mikhail Sergeyevich Casa. Yeah, that seems legit to me. It's a very Russian name. Bug stop, but... Why? <laughs> Even though it's like literally unusable, not until I get a bigger uh, navy cast in here, right? What about the compression? When, when, when can you start doing that? Uh, you kind of can immediately. It's just more of an Easter egg than it's something that the game draws your attention to. Oh, now, exactly. I've done it a little bit of it, but that doesn't work on every program either. Your ladders seem to come, and uh, you're the ladders in the combination, eh? Dad, my oh, land, you're here. We've all been waiting for you. Yeah, me and that guy. That guy and that lady over there. Man of honor has arrived. Let the ceremony begin. I'm old. Not old I'm enough old. to be like, you know, replace my legs with Gundam parts, but like, pretty old though. How old are oh. you, mister? I'm 23. We're gonna have to find a new Gundam for Cog so he can become <laughs> an old man too. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to ask him about that. Award oh, recipient Lana Kari for outstanding service to our community and literally saving the world not once but twice and saving numerous lives like the dam attack and the hospital attack and the time that your mom's oven caught fire and the school hijacking and the airplane hijacking and holy crap kid why do you still why are you at the epicenter of all this? And also being mugged and robbed and threatened, <laughs> and also you might have been taken advantage of. Almost murdered in the freaking net castle. Like, seriously, Lan doesn't have the luck of the Irish. He has just the luck of Lan, because Lan is always at the epicenter of everything terrible. Oh, oh, oh okay, 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 okay. I, I, I just, something just occurred to me. What's that? Okay, so, here's the thing. McCollum. Speaking of Lucky the Irish. Right. Now his luck is like rank F. <laughs> so I guess what I'm saying is is it's Lan Sir. Lan Oof. Sir. Ooh. If you get the joke, you get the joke, but if you don't, we're we're not gonna explain it for you. That that, that explains it. That yep. explains it. Luck okay. F minus minus. <laughs> See me after class. <laughs> <laughs> Visit you with this accommodation, our total appreciation. Well done, son. Thank you. You received a phone call from the hospital. The boy who was undergoing surgery during World 3's attack is recovering well. It says he'd like you to pay him a visit. That's great news. Let's stop at the hospital on the way home, Mega Man. Sounds great. Lad, I'm proud of you. But don't make your father worry, okay? Okay. That was one of the least dangerous missions we've had thus far. You're lucky to have such a you're lucky to have such a brave boy. Man, what the you saved lots of lives. We're all proud of you. That's true, you're the hero of ACDC Town. A 
hero. Wow, I'm a hero. Cool. There you go. Good letting you go to your head. Okay, this is a thing about shonen pro tags, and it's like they're basically not allowed to have any level of self-esteem at all because the instant they're like, yeah, maybe I don't suck. They have to do something terrible to them. And this is like recurring in the anime in particular, where it's like, I remember there was a bit where he got a new PET and he was like super excited. So Lan's like, yeah, I got this new sweet PET and I can like do even better net battling stuff. So like Chad and Raul do this goofy routine where they put on afros and disco costumes and pretend to be estranged World 3 members and like try to harass him. And then Lan just ends up laughing at them because he ended up beating them both without really even trying. You know, wow, that Chad actually like cosplaying is like, yeah, wow. He, he actually has a sense of humor or something. It's it's weird. Let's get to the hospital. All right. Okay, be careful. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Did you hear that, Mega Man? I'm the hero of ACDC Town. Hearing that makes me all pumped up. Bring it on, World Three. Superhero of ACDC Town. Oh, you just promoted yourself from hero to superhero. I like, I gotta take on the world. If Batman can be a superhero, I can be a superhero too. Man, <laughs> well, if you're too overconfident, you'll wind up getting hurt. Not me, yeah. I'm a hero. I can dig on it. Oh, it's that guy. That guy whose name that we're always remembering and stuff. Match. Somewhere. Would somewhere. Out there. A very, 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 very lonely fangirl just squealed. Yep. But she didn't say match. She said a Hinokin. <laughs> Hinokin! And, yeah, she's wrong. Who dares address me that way? It's Mr. Match. Ah, press me the hag vibes. Ah, oh, it's you. Long time no see. <laughs> Long time no see. What are you up to here? Hey, now, just calm down. I left World 3 a long time ago. I'm a model citizen no. now, man. No, he didn't. No. no, he didn't. But he does eventually, funny enough. Eventually, yes, but I think Not it's today. after this. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't show up again until uh, 6, I believe. I'm gonna have Sila help me out. What? Help you out? Yeah, I'm gonna work there. After leaving the World 3, it changed my ways big time. Got my head together, determined I would help the world and everyone in it. He says me to just buy that. Hey man, don't look at me that, that, that way. Speaking from my heart, just check out these eyes. Flames of justice burn bright in my pupils. I'm speaking from the heart, you know. What, what you guys gotta remember, or gotta understand, in the anime, he had this, like, ludicrously cartoonish Scottish accent. And it actually kind of fit the character, so we just kind of roll with it. You know, let me hit me. Yes, I am. The World 3's back again. They're wrecking, being havoc in Yoka 2. Mash, don't tell me you. You still doubt me. I swear I've got nothing to do with this. Stop eyeing me and hurry up and jack into the net. Man, Yoka 2 takes priority. Quick, let's go. Something smells fishy to me. You're right, though. You've got to hurry. It must be the fish program that you have, and you're not a cussed. Yep. And that, that's. Easiest way to get there is probably through a common bill stand. <laughs> Gonna use your back door again. <laughs> it really is just, you know, the simplest, quickest, and easiest way of dealing with these problems. <laughs> uh, she is a pretty uh, agreeable woman. Just punch this rock. What? No, that's dumb. You're dumb! If you were a man, you'd punch this rock. See? Ow! Wow, you're right. Wow, that was kind of dumb, now that I think on it. In retrospect, yeah, that wasn't my smartest move. No, no, it wasn't. That was kind of cool, though, was it? <laughs> sure. Okay, yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. Why you, you do me dirty like that? <laughs> Why don't do I have her code? Well, she, maybe huh. if I fight her again, hang on. Because other people would visit my shop after I appeared on TV in the end one, but I guess I was wrong. 
All right, Tomiko, if I beat you, you have to give me code to your back door. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. Growing up, you don't mature, you just get older. You get better at hiding your thing. immaturity. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Yep. And honestly, there's no fun in maturing. You should be immature, you should laugh at fart jokes. Find the, the humor in life. The Lord knows if you don't, you're gonna start crying. And then you'll go crazy, and no one will want to even hang around you, let alone be your friend. Nope. So, don't do that. Nope. Wow, I countered him. I didn't even need to do that. Sweet! Oh, that's right, I forgot you get 10 if you uh, counter a boss. You're really good to beat that version of Metal Man. I'm sure those customizations will do the trick. They're going to be great friends. Here, take this. Yes! Alright, I was right. And we got a little power up. You're really good. Here, take my passcode. Wait, what? what? Lovely <laughs> pair of matching t-shirts, just $29.80 in. 30 bucks for two t-shirts? It depends. I mean, those must be really nice t-shirts. If they say something really funny on it, like I'm special, and then the other one says I'm with stupid. Or something like that, you know? Yeah, that, that, that is pretty funny. <laughs> Alright. Now we should have an easier time getting in. This one, this is one. Okay, so this is get to the next zone over and be fine. Mm. I remember where the heck that is. Can you Ooh, tell God. there's downtime between play sessions? Because there is. No, I think that you do it all in one go. <laughs> there are some games where that's actually true. There, there have been a few instances of Let's Plays, like ones that you might not even expect that were literally all just one go. Uh, like Happy Humble Burger Farm was one. The other two. And, uh, oh, that that reminds me. Did um, did uh, Airdorf ever get back to you about that one uh, AMA? Oh no, he did? I think I was too late for that. But oh well. Uh -huh. I thought it was a, a pretty good one. I'm actually tempted to do a follow-up on the Faith Let's Play because just I really, really, really like that game. And uh, like one of the things I want to say is like, is everyone I see it a lot where people are like in the fan art where it's like, oh, John is like a cute little like, cat and he's harmless, and I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> First of all, John Ward is more of a vamp than you'll ever be, and let me break down for you like why exactly that's the case. It's like, you don't just become a preacher, that is, you study hard for that kind of thing, and you work hard for that kind of thing. That That is not an easy position. No, you don't understand. According to my my anime, all you do is you wear the, the black outfit, and then you say the magic words, and you don't kiss girls. Tiny That's what you gotta bit, do. Tiny bit more complicated than that. I, I mean, y yes, I know. This yeah. is this is and this then, is not Titaku saying this. this no, is no, I, I, I know. It's just her. I'm just gonna just her. I breathe out of my mouth. <laughs> if I have life drain, I'm just gonna. Do I still have Rock Cube as my Charge Buster? Let's find out. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to do it twice in a row, but I sure did. Even if you 
careful, kid. Wander around the internet alone. I'm on World 3's Navi's might delete ya. How do I know? I'm a World 3 Navi. Nah, I'm gonna delete you. Uh, about that. Boop, got two nose. Oh no! He died somehow. Nose removal. It kills at least three and a half people every year. Iron body is really annoying. That it is. <laughs> ah! I keep forgetting how short that window is. Yeah, it's kind of short. That's okay. They think they can outsmart me. I have not seen them outsmart me. Buster. Friends! Yeah, yes. Yes, I actually am a crusher addict. I played some me some Team Fortress 2. I was never great at it, but I played it quite a bit. Oh Team Fortress 2, you mean that Overwatch loot? Oh my god. Like, you know, I, I was talking with Gym Leader Ed about that, and it's like, it, it, not everything has to be defined by it. Like, yeah, it's about me and Knoon because you catch monsters. It's like, if, if anything, it should be a Megaton clone. Most people haven't actually played Mega Ten, they've mostly spent their time playing Personas. Uh, but if I, I need to, to get Minami Chan to love me so we can go. so I can get the higher Kokoro link and I can d -d 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 date her. Hey, you know what happened to Mega Ten? She would turn into a demon and you'd have to murder her. I mean, yeah, either that or... Oh, she'd become a demi-fiend or something. And then people, and then she'd die anyway, yeah. And then she dies due to the story, yep. I'm a super evil, nasty, awful World 3 Navi, ha! Yeah. Come any closer and you'll get hurt. Oops, too late. Uh, are you actually a World 3 Navi? Oh. No. I don't think he actually is. No, I'm not. I'm going to put the kibosh on that. That's a funny word. It really is, right? Hang on, I have a solution to this problem. There. <laughs> you know how, like, how much easier it is to just use Rock Cube as my buster? Like, I can't even put into words. Read the World 3 Navvies. Good job, Mega Man. I guess you finally have become Rock Man. <laughs> you got mailed to Mr. Match. I wonder what he wants. It says, Another World 3 is terrorizing beach area. Hurry. All I can do right now is direct you, but I'm rooting for you. It's like Mr. Match really has changed. Well, you're right, Mega Man. Come on, beach area. Just a matter of out and in again. Sorry, Tomiko. I'm just, you know, reusing your back door again. <laughs> Honestly, knowing her, she would probably giggle right along with you. Like, people, it's okay to have a sense of humor. It's okay to laugh at stuff. It's okay to not take everything deadly seriously. In fact, no. I highly recommend it. No, you don't understand. Everything's super serial, you guys. Especially cereal. <laughs> Captain Crunch or die. What? No. No, 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 no. It's all about honey bunches of oats. It's like the only cereal I can stand to eat as an adult. No, you don't like Lucky Charms? You blasphemer. Ah, dude, it's like sugar on sugar. I can't do it. It's like Reese's Puffs. Like, it tastes good, but you'll be full for like 15 minutes. And like, eh, it's too much. You're looking at you want a piece of me? Uh, 
Honestly, I, I don't really like Lucky Charms that much. I, if I really have to do cereal, I, I you know, just do uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah, a lot of it's so overpowering and sweet, you know? That's the point! A little, little Pitaku says. I mean, yeah, you know, when you're a kid, you have a higher threshold for these things, and it's fun! Ah, like, oh, it's sugar, and you're allowed to eat it. Little Pitaku says, I want to get diabetes. I want that to happen. But, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's too much. As an, like I said, the only cereal I can eat as an adult is, like, honey bunches of oats. Everything else is, like, way, way, way too much. You guys can make fun of me all you want. Like, yeah, it's next, no man. You know, man cereal. But you know what's gonna happen to you too someday. You know, actually, honestly, when I was younger, I, I really enjoyed honey bunch of oats. So I can't even fault you for that one. Yeah, and it, it's like, as an adult, I actually prefer like hot foods for breakfast. But at the same time. Look, it's our estranged soap opera star over here. And she's, uh, not, you know, a sa epic sax guy there with her. Damn, damn, smooth, smooth jazz. You know, she started, you know, blowing, and I just, you know, all I could hear in my head was, uh, <laughs> okay, you know, I, I just gotta say to my Australian audience out there, you guys need to stop monopolizing the funny videos market. You gotta, you gotta leave a little bit of talent for the rest of us. It's like, internet historian and, and, and guys like that, it's like, you're all hysterical, but like, you're, you're too good. Okay, you gotta, you gotta, you're getting carried away. Australia's a monopolized comedy. Basically, Snack is saying that he he wants a little bit of ad dosh himself. <laughs> That'd be nice. Like you know, someday I'd like to to make YouTube my full my my full time day job, but I have no illusions it's anytime soon. Who the heck are you? You're looking for a World 3 Navi? I know where World 3 Navi is. Closer than you think. Mwah. Turns guys out that actual Mega world? Man is actually a World 3 Navi. Wait, I am? <laughs> world 3 is the friends we made along the way. Oh, man. That's deep. That's deep. Arrgh. You know, by the same logic that fire would do double damage while standing on grass, shouldn't it do half damage if you're standing on grass and get hit by electric? Mm. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's being a nudist. He took off all his clothes. So which one is this? Some seaside hospital. Now, the, the snack is my passion project, and I'm, I'm going to do it because I enjoy doing it. If it gets to be my day job someday, that'd be super cool, but I hope no one at home ever feels like that's some kind of prerequisite for me doing this, because I'm going to do it because I like doing it. It gives me an excuse to play games with my bros and revisit old classics and discover a crap ton of indie games that I never would have seen before. You guys get to enjoy the ride with me, which is the best part. Don't worry. We'll, we'll cyber bully Snack until he becomes a <laughs> game developer. <laughs> oh, jeez. I made a game. I don't know what I'd make. No, I, I do have some ideas for games. I have, like, kind of some basic concepts. I was actually going to uh, repurpose Marinara and Alfredo for, like, a little cutesy puzzle action game about, like, 
I don't have a title or anything, but the story was going to be that in this world, the moon comes down to the Earth once every couple of years. I think I said ten. And it hovers over this lake, and in that time, the people of the moon and the people of the Earth get to, like, it's the one time where they get to, like, trade and communicate. So if you have family on the moon, you don't see them every so often, so you have to make the most out of it. So the whole thing would be a puzzle platformer where they're trying to get to the lake where the moon comes down so they can see their family again. And, like, it would just be a cute little puzzle platformer thing where, like, Alfredo, the brother, has one set of abilities, and Marinera, the sister, has one set of abilities, and it would work from there. Oh, so kind of like Lost Vikings? Uh, yeah, kind of. Maybe a little less punishing than Lost Vikings, but yeah, same basic idea. Lost Vikings, I hear them say. What's that? What's a Lost Viking? It was when Blizzard was good. Blizzard was good, and they were called Silicon and Synapse. They made really consistently great games and actually cared what people thought about them. I, I hear... I hear Clockwork, you know, revving up his keyboard and already. Excuse me, Snack, but you have made a small error. Allow me to Don't correct you. you understand a that... five-paragraph essay about why you are incorrect. Warcraft 3 and Diablo 2. Ooh. Look, I love Diablo 2 as much as the next Snack. And I get it, it is a great game. But my first Blizzard title was Lost Vikings, and I will, it will always hold a very special place in my heart as a result. I'm not bagging on it if it's not necessarily your favorite. I get it, because everyone has their own thing. But at the same time, you have you gotta get yours, I gotta get mine. Okay, so Snack, I have a question for you. Sure. Alright. So Roll Mother Mother Snack plays win. <laughs> I'd do Earthbound, like everyone else. Uh, you're not going to do Mother 3. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm late enough in the video to say this. Mother 3 did not come to the Western world because Mother 3 is not a good game. You guys are deluding yourselves. It's not a good game. It's not. It has good ideas, honestly. I, but I, none I, of them I are in the story or the mechanics of the game. It's holy crap, dude. Honestly, I mean, it kind of gave me a lot of Final Fantasy IV vibes with like how they're like, well, here's here's a bit, and we're gonna completely change your party, and here's another bit, and we're gonna completely change your party, and here's another bit, and we're gonna completely change your party. Like, I liked the first couple chapters because, like, you were seeing the same story but told different ways. And, and I think that was actually really clever. Mm -hmm. um, and there was something to be said for that. And... Because... <laughs> nice. Holy crap. Wow. I didn't realize that they do that. I did not either, actually. But they kind of just get lost and start meandering with other yo-yos. Because otherwise, they just try to line up with you. Man, Rock Cube is amazing! Talk about underrated power-ups. Where's that? Okay, that's back over there. Number 7. Changing your buster into a Rock Cube. <laughs> ah, there you are. Oh, so you man! Tally. Okay, you can pass. What? This was the area I was talking about earlier. I thought you had to go in here to get the ice ball. Yeah. Who are you? Don't you know this is the internet? Yeah, you know what? I think I'll take your advice on that and just leave. I don't feel like getting deleted right now. Listen, okay, guys, you, you guys gotta understand. I, we, we did a thing, Taku and I, where we passed our save file back and forth, and we played through. Mother 1, Earthbound, and Mother 3, one after another. And it was definitely an interesting experience, and I'm glad that I did it, but I don't have any interest in doing it again. Like, Mother 1 is definitely a quirky and interesting game, but 
by mid-game it becomes a tedious, grindy slog. Like, Earthbound is the exception that proves the rule, and Mother 3 was just... It's not good, guys. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> Mother 1 had Gabalan. Mother 2 was just good. Mother 3... Also had made Gabalan, me funny enough. Quite, made me question my sanity. Oof. I can't even really explain why. I mean, I could, but... It's not worth it. And, and I hope you guys don't think we're, we're, like, just trying to be provocative here. No, it's just, in my opinion, it's different, and I just don't think it was very good. If you like it, more power to you. Actually, honestly, I feel like I liked Mother 3 more than Snack did. And that's probably true. But yeah, it's like, uh, honestly, after a certain point, it, it almost seemed like the game was like, See, don't you understand the message we're trying to point out? The incredibly obvious, stupid, milk-toast message that many people have done and done way, way, way better than we have. Don't, don't you see Game Director having an existential crisis? It's like, uh, I have to use a an artsy. And I have to point out the consumerisms. Guys, that's so freaking trite. Uh, this guy's gotta be around here somewhere. guys like something that I don't like, or vice versa, that's perfectly fine. You guys are able to find joy in something that I wasn't able to find any in, and you know what, that's a good thing. Everyone, you know, it marches in lockstep, there's something wrong is going on. Yeah, I'll second that. There, found you! Alright, World 3, la la la. You're just laughing at my song just now? Nothing should laugh at yeah, World 3, come here you! Why were you singing a song about being part of a terrorist block? Well, you don't, you don't, you know, think that people in Al Qaeda, you know, sing songs like "I'm in Al Qaeda, la la la." Uh, uh, no, Mr. Needler. Uh, I should have guessed that would happen. Oh well. Poor Mr. Needler. He didn't deserve that, surely. My name is Shirley. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> we didn't land. I think World 3 is coming out in the open now. And then he got mail from Match again. It says, Now the World 3 is in its high lab 1. Visuals are having a hard time. My former World 3 instincts tell me they must be up to something. Hurry over there. What can World 3 be up to? Come on, Mega Man, we got to do the lab 1. But after I'm gonna I have this, to, uh, bow out now. Now, I was also about to say, this is a good time to, to end for now, and join us next time, as we have the one boss in the game that can meaningfully threaten us, and more. And we'll see you there.